I have heard and seen a lot of people talking about religion trauma that they are experienced through Christian religions, through the beloved Jesus Father. And I thought to myself, how lucky am I that I was born Buddhism? Not least like that I myself also being traumatized by the people who misuse the teaching in Buddhism in manipulation other people either intentionally or unintentionally and I was so unaware of my own pain and I starting to aware of this not really long ago when I starting to write my novel come back to me Lalita I starting to notice that I has a negative view towards the teaching I'm not when I'm talking about teachings this that I have negative view is not the teaching the pure teachings of Buddhism but the teaching that interpreted to the personal interpretations of people who study Buddhism it could be Buddhism any Buddhist or it could be a Buddhist monk who transfer the knowledge to us so just to give you background because in Buddhism, at least in my country, Thailand, there most of Buddhist, Buddhists, they are not reading their own Bible. I myself, I have never read one. Unlike other religions that you are encouraged to read the Bibles, to read your Korans or whatever, in Buddhism, we didn't get correct in college to read it and for understandable reason because there is if I understand correctly 54 books in which about some several million words in there and it's a very high level of knowledge that even I read it at the time when I was young I don't think I could really grab and understand so we learn Buddhism through understanding of the people who seriously practicing or seriously dedicate their life into study which means I learn Buddhism to temple to the teachings of the monk therefore their interpretations towards their study it become my interpretations and that is when I wasn't aware that there were they were projecting their personal trauma wrapping in a packet with the Buddhism teaching and then hand it to me and then I receive it become my trauma and I try to search uh, if there are any people talking about traumatized trail that happen due to Buddhism religion I I find nothing I said in English I said in Thai I try to find if somebody have spoke about this that I could validate myself that I'm not crazy <laughs> that I could find a way to heal myself and I find nothing really it really really nothing either there is no one which is I don't think so or people are not there to talk about this because I saw a lot in other religion then people will uh, oh, it's okay seem it seemed to me that it's okay to criticize religions like even a movie making fun of Jesus there is movie making the whole things about Christianity like um, um, what is that movie the Da Vinci Code for example but I have never seen any movie or any criticism in toward Buddhism. We are somewhat in our teaching is already silent at in the way because we were taught that don't speak lie <laughs> and lie is one of the sin that 
in that we have to follow and don't speak lie it doesn't mean just lie don't speak bullshit don't speak blah 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 don't speak without purpose like we don't we are not in college even to be funny because it's considering um speak with with like sarcastic is also a form of lie in buddhism so therefore criticism is in some word could considering that you speak lie especially you know no one know the truth no one know ultimate ultimate truth i don't know ultimate truth if i were to speak my own truth it could be somebody else lie and therefore by buddhism i am sinful and if i gonna speak my opinions regarding buddhism i gonna make myself a sinner in the eye of buddhism people therefore i think for this reason i have never seen anyone speak negatively about this aspect that buddhism also i'm talking about my experience in my countries that happened with me and to me only okay not generalize that buddhism is like this i'm talking about how the teaching of buddhism make a negative impact in my life first i observe and i see i have a trail of self hatred that coming from the root the teaching in the buddhism because the buddhism is the main the teaching that's transferred to us and the main elements and main core thing about buddhism that life is suffer and buddhism is the way out of suffering so we were taught a lot to contemplate how suffering life is from everyday life how suffer is in everywhere how impermanent is ourselves our bodies how disgusting to live on earth and keep like incarnate as a human again and again this is one aspect secondly i were taught to tolerate my boundary actually there is no discussion of boundary what, what is boundary by the way i have never heard of it when i was young and when i learn about boundary i can notice that a lot of teaching in buddhism that teach us to internalize our boundary for example we believe in karma so you do thing you get consequence this is what i understand for karma right now i still believe in karma that action equal um reaction like size did but it took very far in buddhism good act good thing mean you got good thing act bad thing you got bad things and we also believe in reincarnation so these concept are linked together and it become that whatever bad thing you have now in your current life is coming from the bad thing you have done in the past so therefore accept it and take it and take it and undone your karma if that not clear enough for example if you were mistaken by other people someone have done wrong thing to you in buddhism way we will say that was your karma have done to him or her in the past life therefore take it therefore accept it instead of teach us you know like for example if you were a woman and you were shit by men then this is a karma that you have done in the past therefore uh, accept it 
next step is you have done that. So now it's the turn to take it back. So in order to not create more karma, so you have to forgive people. It, in some way, it's good because it taught you not to, you know, like keep hang on it and then revenge on it. So yeah, this is a good part of it. We are not into revenge, you know. We are into okay, letting go. But in some way, it's also underlined that everything is your fault, and it's underlined that allow people to do badly on you, and then you blame yourself. And it's no anyone talking about setting boundary, how to not accept people to do that. To you, there I see in the videos of a monk on YouTube talking about what kind of sin you have done to have to pay the debt for Arthur, and he said it was in your past life that you have created a loan and you didn't pay off either that either. Your parent was poor, and they have to make a loan to pay for your education. So in this lifetime, you have to pay for their debt. Oh, fuck me, please! <laughs> oh my God! And you know this kind of teaching is something I believe for a long time. I listen to this and I would feel okay. Yes, I understand now. So now I have to take the debt of my parents and pay it off and accept that it was a fault of me in the past. It was something I have done wrong in the past. My Godness, I can't believe that teaching is still existing in this day. You know, if your parents have a debt and now is you have to pay for them, it's because your parent doesn't have financial education and not really planning financially, lack of education around money. It means this. It doesn't mean you have done wrong thing. It doesn't mean you have owned something. From someone in the past, lie in whatever life it is. We are in present, and this is reason from this present time. But if you are kind and you want to help them out, that is your mercy. That is your good thing. It's not because you have done wrong thing and now you try to pay off the bad thing you have done in the past. If you helping them now, you helping them because of you have a kind heart. And if you don't want to help them, it's also your choice. It's also your choice. It's not your mistake that you have to go take any shit from anybody, even that is your parents. I know it's easy to say this because my parent doesn't have debt. I don't know how could I take it if my parent have debt. But I have seen my dad paying debt for my grandmothers for a long time. I don't know how what he thinking, and that is fine. If my parents have a debt, I would help in the boundary that I could. That is not suffocate myself. In the past, that I was so influenced by religion teaching, and I'm so core belief that I have to responsible for everyone happiness because. I am rebelling myself as a daughter, as a shy of some human. Therefore, the happiness is my, the unhappiness is my, the problem is my, everything is my. And therefore, I know if I were operate from that belief, I would jump in and take all debt on my shoulder, take every problem on my shoulders. But now that I. I am done that belief, and now I I don't think the same way anymore. 
if they have problem, I will help them out because of kindness, because of loving as a human to human. And of course, maybe a bit more bond between parents and children. But I will have a limit. I will not go all the ways to pay every single shit that they are not learned about financials. And yeah, maybe and I look like a really means daughter. No, I'm just undone my karma. Hate it. Oh my god, it's so much to talk about. <laughs>